Fest is less than a month away and things are getting pretty busy in the office, but if you haven't managed to get a ticket, never fear, because the J-Mods are here with details on how you can still get involved. On October 3rd, it's finally here. The day we've been working towards is RuneFest 2015. Escapers in from all over the world to Tobacco Dock London, uh, and we'll be streaming the whole thing live for you on the 3rd of October. If you've not got a ticket, you can still be a part of RuneFest. The whole of RuneFest will be completely live streamed. That means you'll get to see all of the main stage sessions as they happen, and we'll be talking to the individual presenters in between each of those sessions. Also, the second stage will be filmed, so you get to watch those later on in the day. We're doing it slightly different. We want to go bigger, we want to go better this year. This means for us we have to change around the layout a little bit and go to the opposite side of the whole venue, which gives us a lot of more different opportunities and possibilities. Last year we had the Elf City theme and dressed everything in that kind of manner. And uh, this year we actually have two different themes. So upstairs will fully focus on the invention theme. So think steampunk, Think Victorian, think mechanical, all those kinds of things. As you can see, the fantastic RuneFest logo. And uh, downstairs, we uh, are focusing on the vampire theme. So expect coffins, dungeons, dark, dingy, sultry location. You guys told us at last RuneFest that you wanted more spoilers, more reveals, so we're going to focus more on future content. You're going to get NXT, Invention, Chronicle, and of course there's a big session that uh, ModMark will be hosting about updates of 2016. But for many of you, the big kind of standout session will be the Golden Gnomes. The RuneScape equivalent of the Oscars. Think red carpets, think Celebrity J Mods giving out awards, and think a whole host of awards from everything from art to cosplay to video making to streaming to community champions. Check out the RuneFest website for more information and submit your nominations to gga at runefest.com. The stuff that really gets me going is the, the special stuff. We've got Oculus Rift there and we're going to take you on a ride through a number of our greatest updates. And we've got old school Deadman mode if you fancy doing some player killing. It's important that you not only see great stuff, you get to play it as well. And this year we have 10 PCs all hooked up with RuneScape NXT. You're going to be exploring RuneScape in a completely new client and with beautiful new graphics. Don't forget, you don't have to be at RuneFest to get the best parts of it. All of those great main stage sessions, they're all going to be completely viewable via live stream on the day. The stream will start at 9am game time on the day and will run throughout. So make sure you tune in and you see RuneFest 2015. Uh, this year we want RuneFest to be as much about the people watching at home as the people who are at the event itself. So we're trying to make the stream even bigger and better than ever before. We've got competitions on stream. We'll be having Matt and Darren back to present uh, RuneFest this year. And we'll also be doing a lot of cool things that you might not expect that hopefully will come as a bit of a surprise to you guys at home. If you'd like to submit something for the Golden Gnome Awards, check out this news post to find out how to take part. But remember, nominations close on the 20th, so get them in quick. Next week, we're on the dev floor catching up with the Guardians to find out more about the new Myraki quest, The Lord of Vampirium.